In this second example of organic modeling, I want to show that we're not always uh, stuck with using a circle with organic modeling. Organic modeling doesn't have to mean that it's really round or whatever. You're not limited by anything. So in this case, for instance, I'm going to make a simple plane and scale that up to where I want it to be, roughly, as a start for something fun. I'm making it into a two degree flat surface. As you can see, there's, um, I'm putting the CVs on, and you can see that we have the, the hull lines there in the center. And since I said that there no car ever has, or no proper car ever has a flat surface, we're going to give this a little bit of attention. In this case, we're going to use this transform CV tool on the NUV setting so that I can get a little bit of a crown on this surface. See what it's doing there? It's on symmetry, so the other side goes along. So you see exactly what you're going to get. See that it gets a little bit of attention compared to a flat surface. See? Then I take this off and I take the whole object and I'm putting it a bit further away from the center. Um, I'll click on the grid so that I know, for instance, the car is maximum about two meters wide, but probably a lot less. So in this case, we're going to put it at uh, half the distance. So this 800 will be 160 wide, 900 will be 180 wide. So we put it somewhere here. So we have a nice space to work with. And then we're going to look at the width and the length. The width is there. The length would then be... We're going to look at the window. At the moment, the thing is 3200 3, long. I want it a little bit longer than that. So I'm going to make it 4.5 about. So I'm scaling this up a little bit. And I know it's not in the So I'm putting it on this side of the axis, so that I can play with it properly. You see it's symmetrical. Okay, now, how are you going to make this into something organic or something sculptural? First of all, I'm going to change the degree to 5th degree service, and this one as well to 5th degree service. So I keep with doing that, I still have the same service that I have before, but with a higher degree of resolution. So now I can take, for instance, this hole, and I move that along the surface by using the slide option, and move it closer to the top. Then I take this, the second hole here, and do the same thing, and move it closer to the top. So in principle, I should still have the same basic shape for it, but and then do the same thing with the lower parts and shove that down. Nope, I had both selected. That wasn't the intention. So now I'm shoving these ones further down. The reason why I'm doing that, I'm placing these holes then closer to the top and close to the bottom, so that I can play around afterwards and you can see why in a second so this is roughly where I want them to be now I take the upper hole here and I put that on non-proportional scale I first make sure that the pivot point is at zero in the center and then I put this on non-proportional scale, and I put it on 1, the length is still 1, 0, and the height is also still 1. So the width is at 0, so this thing should go to the center and be completely 
at the center there if I shade this you can see what you're gonna get this thing which is roughly what I was looking for to play to start with now I can start entering the same as before some inserts in here to play around with this upper surface do one there so I have the symmetry in the center do one a bit further out and maybe another one there now I can take these holes and move them further out I still have the center one so I still have symmetry there see but now I get a nice radius here over this area and I can take this hole theoretically and put it a little bit higher and now you can look at these lines and you can see there's if I take this this hole and put it higher then it's going to make a twist if you want that if there's a reason for that perfect but you don't principally in principle you don't want to try to do that but I want to make this as sharp as possible without doing that so I'm pulling this further out and pushing that one further up and then I pull that one further out see now the radius gets pretty small and this one is now a little bit too wide so I'm sliding this back in yeah, really simple surface that's not the issue now I'm gonna increase over the length a couple of insert a couple of extra CVs for me to play with because I want to try and put nice real arches there just have something to play around with so in this case this seems to be enough for me I'll take these uh, CVs and I'll see what I get if I raise this or move see now this gets higher if I now take this CV not that way and I take this CV here I think it's got a snap on so that shouldn't be I think this is I'll take the take the shading off for a sec just to make sure that I'm up to speed something doesn't seem to be working now which of course in software can always happen should be back on board so I'm clicking that off moving that there so I want to make sure that I'm still symmetrical and then I'll take this CV here move that in take that CV move that higher and in and then take this CV because I see now there's a little dip coming here I think so I'm pulling that a little bit further out just to overcome that dip here now if I look at this in the zebra it should still be pretty smooth line wise see that 
the, the, the curves here still form quite a nice line and the reflection there goes pretty nicely but um, for instance thinking about a Porsche 917 or a Jaguar E-Type or something like that you want to play around with this and get something going here as well so now I take this sh the shading off, the zebra off I go to insert and in insert I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna undo these things for a sec and make sure that that CV is back into the center and I want to increase now the amount of CVs I have here so I can play around with that a bit more so now with these let's do one more with these I pick the CV and I put this one at that height and further out and put that one a bit lower and also further out and then these two naturally have to flow towards it and these two do the same thing that makes total for me it makes total sense because then you're gonna concentrate a little bit more on this area here now I can take this one and move it higher and further in and for and this one higher and further in just like I did before and this one a bit further higher as well and now I get a little bit more of a fender idea here the reason why normal engineering uh, engineers don't like this and engineering software um, users don't like this is because they don't have the possible some of the software doesn't have the possibility to play around with the CVs that much and then for them to organize organize this in such a way is quite irritating but this is only for within the design department normally this method so we don't have to worry about them at this time so now I'll look at what I'm getting here see now we get quite a nice thing going on there with highlights that are still quite good now you know as well as I do that in plan view it's never that flat and never that straight so we pick these this hole here and we're gonna move that a little bit further in non-proportional scale it probably not with a shading with this type of shading on then do the other shading that goes a bit faster and also want to make sure that my pivot point is at that lowest point height and not all the way on the floor so I'm putting that higher so when I do non-proportional scale see everything goes towards that pivot point and now in plan view I get quite a nice sports car front This is just still the same organic modeling technique as I did with the sphere and it works just as well. So if I now for instance have this and I like this, I go I put the zebra on it and see what I get. It's still symmetrical. I think this is a little bit too soft. I want it more defined. So now I go back to the this method and I probably put the shading on this to see what I'm going to get take CVs move and I move this CV not with CV snap I just move this CV lower and further out and this CV too which gives it a dent clearly and I move this CV further in it's 
so that I get a little bit of a sharper corner there I want to move this one further down as well and therefore if I now switch the shading off you can see that if you look at the, the line, the log logical line of this these ones want to be a bit further out and lower as well to to go better into to line up better with these ones I just moved and the same goes here but as I said it's just freeform sculpting so you're not stuck by anything you can just experiment whatever you want and now I take these CVs in the center I still want symmetry so I'm pulling them out a little bit more so I get much more of a space say for instance to put my engine there if I want the front engine and then I see what I have in the shaded version and they should become a bit more like a Porsche 917 or another race car type of front C and this works well it's still symmetrical and if I put on the zebra Ah, you see that uh, because of moving these, the symmetry is broken. So I'm going to go back to that align symmetry, click on that, 